Hello everyone, in this video we want to create some complex animations and therefore I have found here this plugin. So this is the Transformer page view plugin and I have already created here some card and what I want to do with you together is to do some animation where we have some flipping of cards which are sliding up and down or left and right and therefore this plugin is really handy so you can go here to pub.dev and then go to the installing section of this transformer page view plugin and then we want to put this dependency into our project so i go here into pub spec German file and under dependencies i put it here inside like i did it already and then you need to restart the application and here inside of this code i have already created this home page which you see here on the right side and basically we have here a card widget which is exactly this widget here and we want to have multiple widgets right now and put them into a page view and we use this other page view which we have here so we have this transformer page view this is exactly the one of the plugin which we have put into our dependencies and then you need to import this one and instead of a child we set here the item builder property and here we get a context and some index and then we return here this card widget but we want to have multiple card widgets so i will also change it here so basically i want to get here some url images titles and subtitles from this class here which i have created and here are all of our images inside so i have put here some assets inside and some images and also some titles and subtitles which we can use for all the cards as some dummy data and with this we have for every index in our card widget a different text and now we also have to set here the item count property so i will set it here to text url images dot length so this is how many cards we have and you also can set the scroll direction which i put here to vertical and the curve so this is about how the animation will be displayed later in which speed and the most important one is the transformer and here inside we have some transformer which we have to supply and this decides how our animation looks like and basically we have already some basic transformers in the example of this plugin so i create here a new folder which i call transformer and here inside i create a new file transformers and I paste in here some code which is from the example plugin. So they have already provided some examples and here we have different transformers which you can basically use. And with these transformers you can have different animations. So I have put all of them into this list transformers so we can test them out. So I go back to the home page and here in I set the transformers and then I can access them with the index. So I need to import this one here. So I import this transformers file, which I have created before with you together. And now we can hot restart this application. And now if I try to drag you around, you see, okay, there's some animation going on. So this is the first animation, which I have selected. And it's also going into the other direction. And this transformation is called a Corlean transformer. So this is from the example library. So if you like this, you can use this animation for your need. We also can check out the second and third one. So let's try them out. So again, I go here inside, I replace the number to one and then I hot restart. And now we can also test this one out. So this looks a little bit different. So here it is like a size animation to the right and it's getting bigger or if we go back, it's getting smaller and it's always coming from the up top right corner if you go down and yeah, so this is also what you can use as an animation. We can use then also the second animation. So let's try them also out. So it looks like this. And if you go into the other direction, it will just go down. So it's also a kind of cool animation. So if you want to use this one, then you can easily use it. So like you can see, these are pre-built and you don't need to create your own complex animations because these are already built for you and you simply can use them. So I also show you the third one, which is this zoom out page transformer. So let's hot restart it. And now if I go here, you see it is kind of a zoom here going on. 
and then it's going from one card to the next card and we also can test the fifths and sixths out so let's try them also out so i put here four inside and hot restart and this one is the depth page transformer so this is also cool so you get like a card behind it which gets bigger and also in the other direction it's going then down and the last one is the scale and fade transformer which we also can try out so if you put here the five inside then you get here this animation which also looks really great and you don't need to do much about it just use the this one and now i want to also create my own transformer so i create here a new file and i call it my transformer dot dart and basically i want to use this depth page transformer in my transformers class which is from the examples i want to use this as a template so i don't need to build everything from scratch and i put this into my transformers and i just rename it and then i need also to import here this transformer page view and also this material library and i think we just go here into our home page again and I will just commence this out. So for you, if you want to get the source code, then you can use this transformers list and use it in your app. And I will create this my transformer right now. So I use it right now and I also hot restart so that you see again how this transformer looked like and we want to change it a little bit. So it's always showing here under it that this gets bigger, the card under it. And if you scroll down, then in the opposite direction and I want to change it a little bit so that it is much cooler. So like you can see in this code, we have here the position for the top card. So it will always have here the opacity of 1.0. So the top card opacity will never change. Like you can see, if I go here down, it will always stay the same. And this one is the bottom card. So like you can see here, we have some opacity. So the opacity changes for the bottom card, like you can see. And this is because of this code here, which is saying, okay, we change the opacity depending on the position. And we also have here some scale factor. So it's scaling this image in the background. And we also change here the offset of the Y coordinate. So like you can see, it's going a little bit down. And if you would, for example, put here plus inside instead, then it would look obviously different. So let's try this out. Then you see, okay, it's coming from the bottom and not from the top, for example. So you can also play around with these values. And then you get directly a totally different animation, like you can see. And you can also change it here, for example, instead for the x-axis. So here you do some translation for the x-axis. And instead of height, we put here the width inside. And now if you hot restart, then you see that it is coming from the right side for example if you put here a minus in front then it will come from the left side and like you can see it comes right now from the left side so you have some minor changes what you can do if you know how this works so you can work with this translation you can work with the scale factor and uh, also with opacity and what i want to do is i want to change here these numbers and also here at the scale factor, I want to change it a little bit so that the scaling looks a little bit different. And I will also not use this here for the width again. I will put it again back to the height so that we not change it, that it comes from left or right. We want to have it from bottom or top. And I put here again the info height inside. And I will also change here how the opacity look like. So I will change this to a plus. So this is a little bit different than the effect. And I will also change this here to false. So we don't want to have it in reverse. And then I hot restart this application. And now you see that I have changed here this animation with some tricks here in the code. So if I go right now down here with this card, then you see it's appearing the card, the bottom card is appearing. And before it was exactly the opposite in the up from the opposite direction, the bottom card is was always showing if we came from the other side and now if I try to drag it in this direction then this card will always come directly here and the bottom card has now every time the opacity of one and then it will go up and this was exactly the opposite before and so you can change some animations here from this example and get some 
new animation result. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye!